Now, something might happen in Congress soon that would uh, that could change things. Um, there's a new article. I'll leave a I'll leave a link for this article in the description below. That uh, the headline for this article. This was actually in uh, uh, from the Drive, it's, and the headline reads: "UFO whistleblowers would get immunity under new amendment." <laughs> And so basically someone from the House Intelligence Committee is trying to include a, an amendment in the uh, 2023 National Defense Authorization Act that would allow whistleblowers to uh, come forward and not have to worry about any repercussions with regard to what they know about UFOs. This, this could be a big deal. I, I, I you know, I, I mean, if, if it gets passed... Uh, but let's uh, read some of this article. And that's uh, actually the one person who actually I thought did the best job uh, in that uh, uh, recent uh, intelligence committee hearing with the Pentagon who, who asked the most salient questions was uh, Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin, a Republican from Wisconsin. And he's the one who has uh, introduced this amendment. So good for him. Anyway, this article written by Howard Altman, it reads, it says, in an effort to protect those with information about unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and increase the influx of reports about them, Representative Mike Gallagher, R. Wisconsin, has introduced an amendment to the Fiscal Year 2023 National Defense Authorization Act. The amendment would establish a process within the government for reporting UAPs and provide whistleblower-like protections. Gallagher's spokesman Jordan Dunn told the war zone Thursday morning for a multitude of reasons United States troops and government contractors have traditionally been reluctant to come forward with information about these incidents regardless of their validity beyond that beyond that there have also been long-standing long -standing allegations that the government and defense contractors could be hiding previous UFO related programs and evidence amen to that i say anyway this would allow those with information to come forward without retribution some have even posited that language like that in gallagher's amendment could lead to ufo disclosure in essence it says that regardless of any previous written or oral non-disclosure agreements quote that could be interpreted as a legal constraint on reporting by a witness of an unidentified aerial phenomena end quote those with information about uaps more commonly known as ufos would not be violated federal classified information laws if they come forward the amendment also calls for the head of the new airborne object identification and management synchronization group tasked with investigating uaps on behalf of the defense secretary and director of national intelligence to establish a quote secure system end quote for receiving reports of quote any events relating to end quote uaps and any government or government contractor activity or program related to uaps the reporting system shall be administered by des designated and widely known, easily accessible, and appropri appropriately cleared Department of Defense and Intelligence community employees or contractors, which is a much enhanced and more deeply mandated effort that replaced the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. Uh, any, any information would be screened to prevent un unauthorized public reporting or compromise of properly classified military intelligence systems, programs, and related activity, including all categories and levels of special access and compartmented access programs, current, historical, and future. However, federal agencies and contractors working with the government would be precluded from taking actions, including suspending security clearances for those who report UAP incidents and information. And those who are retaliated against may bring a private civil action for all appropriate remedies, including injunctive relief and compensatory and punitive damages against the government or other employer who took the personnel action in the United States Court of Federal Claims, the amendment states. I'll, I'll leave the rest of it you know, for you to read, but let's just talk about this for a minute. I mean, this could be big. It could be a big thing. Uh, I mean, it's, now the problem is now it does state that you're, not, you're if you're bringing if you're bringing up something that's going to hurt the government, like if there's some sort of classified project that could you know hurt the government. I mean, I, I from what I from how it reads here, it seems like well you can't bring that forward. But I mean, what about just bringing forward? To me, it doesn't say anything about hey, there's extraterrestrials here. If you were to bring that information forward and say, hey, say say there's somebody in Majestic 12, for instance, somebody that's part of the, uh, maybe not the Majestic 12 member, but somebody that, that's working for Operation Majestic 12, 
uh, if it's even called that today still, who knows? But there has to be a group, right? There has to be a control group. There has to be, there's no question about it. There has to be. In fact, I just, for a side note, let, let's, this, there has to be because even as far back as 1950, there definitely was something. There definitely was something. That, in fact, the United States, as, as, as for a fact we know, we, for a fact, we know the United States since at least 1950 uh, has been considered has considered UFOs the uh, the more important than even the H bomb. It was the mo it was the most top secret uh, thing that they were most concerned about in 1950. We know that because there was a top secret memo uh, written by a Canadian uh, official, government official, uh, Wilbert Smith. Uh, that be, that uh, was declassified in the 1970s that stated that he, he did some inqu inquiries, discrete inquiries back in 1950 about what you know what the United States thought about UFOs and they he found out that yes it's it's the most highly classified issue there is and they're more concerned the United States officials are more concerned about UFOs than they were about anything else All right so we know that for a fact it's, it's there's no question about it. I know a lot of people were out there will, will try to you know deny it the bunkers and whatnot, but hey, the, the the document speaks for itself. It was top secret classified, and it was declassified in the seventies. There's nothing you could do about it. It's it's a fact. Anyhow, so with that in mind, it, it, this could mean that say somebody ha has can get access to images, pictures, pictures. Say they say, say somebody has access to images from the Roswell crash or some other crashes, you know, actually gets the pictures, the film, you know, uh, reports, you know, top secret reports and says, and brings them and says, Hey, look at this proves here that there's extraterrestrials visiting earth. Would this, would, would this uh, amendment, if it, if it is passed, if it is included in the uh, authorization act, uh, would, would that, uh, uh, make it so that they, they wouldn't be, uh, Nobody be able to uh, do anything about it. That's what it seems like to me. So if somebody's in Majestic Twelve and wants to bring this information forward, should this thing pass, they they won't have to worry about it. According to this, now if that's how things really work, I mean we'll see. I mean it it could be that hey, maybe that maybe the rules of Congress and or anything else do not apply when it comes to this. Maybe this they, they, maybe these people are extremely serious about keeping it secret still, no matter what, and they don't care what Congress does. There's always that aspect of it too. They'll shoot you in the head anyhow. You know, I don't know. Again, but if somebody was somehow to get this information, to, you know, to the public, you know, present it to the Congress and say, look at this is real, you know. If they were able to get to that stage without, you know, being uh, stopped, then they might be home free. I don't know. That's if this passes. But it would. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here, um, because uh, I, I think this is a, a good step in the right direction. You know, whistleblowers won't have to worry about uh, prosecution, or you know, they'll, they'll get full immunity. And uh, maybe that's what. Maybe that's the only way we'll ever get the info. Get full disclosure. You know, we need to get a whistleblower who, you know, presents this information. And this could be the first step in, in making that possible without any retribution.